one, I think I, I have to answer one thing, which is normally people having uh, another personality in the world. Yeah? You have front face, sometimes face in the back. Yeah. When uh, the human start to stand up, start to stand up, to walk, yeah. This is the front. This is the back. I don't know why, but uh, <laughs> since then we have front society, back society, front personality, back personality, always front and back. I don't know why. But um, human being, something like that. <coughs> and very often we are um, told like one person having a different personality, but both or maybe more, all are adult. All are adult. Right? I have personalities, but. The other one is my childhood. This guy asking me, are you satisfied? Why you do this kind of stupid things? You understand? That is my partner. My childhood is my partner. <coughs> I think this is a bit different than uh, normal way of personalities. This you need to practice. Somehow through the history we had many, many dancers like you you said. Yeah of course no name because history are like written or told. Yeah, we understand um, dance history, which um, just written some, by something, yeah. But um, we have endless number of the dancers who are uh, who never put a name. Yeah, they have a name, but uh, now no name people. But I, I believe the dancers who had no name, more than the Nijinsky, Isadora Duncan, Min Tanaka, stupid, right? <laughs> <laughs> name are really not important. Name cannot dance. <laughs> So, our dance, traditional dance, is always using the right together, left together. This was our tradition. You understand? And martial art, karate, also using the same direction. Not like this. Just stupid. <laughs> Too difficult to move. <coughs> it's always like this. Or kendo. This is also like this, this way. So, very decent. Very practical. Yeah. <coughs> and uh, after we open, then the first country which we got the uh, movement is Germany. Mm -hmm. And they move like this. <laughs> Before, we move 
like this. Very different. Okay. Yeah. So this is a big move, right? Mm -hmm. It was very visible. <clears throat> and this is a big question, yeah? If the dance is always visible or not, If the person moves the body, is that enough for dance? Mm. Yeah, big question. If I move, this is dance, I don't know. So we have, we should have another movement inside of the body. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. I don't know if it is mind or if it is emotion, I don't know, but at least we have to have small, small, small movement in the body. That is a sense, I think, sense of the body. If you get the sound, if you listen to a sound, if you touch to something, if you get the wind, all small but it's growing in the body. For me, that kind of movement is a very, very important element for the dance. Smelling. <coughs> and imagination. If you are... But in the city it's quite difficult, but <laughs> if you are in the field, in the sky, crowd are moving, yeah? <coughs> Trees are moving, everything is moving. So, body is inside of the movement. 